Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. But what I do know, I'm still Angie, this is still 4F Beauty, and you are very welcome. You will have seen from the thumbnail, the title, and if you've read any of it, the description, that this, even though it's now April, is the March box from Rockerbox. Because yes, it didn't actually arrive until the very end of the month for me this time. I don't know what Royal Mail had been doing to it because when it arrived the outer packaging looked like it had been used by the Welsh rugby team for scrum practice however thankfully what's inside is all intact so if you want to find out exactly what's inside this March rocker box And whether I think it's worth it. Sammy's here to remind you. Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, get comfy. Here we go. Right. Rocker Box is a subscription box for those of you who don't know. Um, or who haven't seen my previous um, unboxings it says on the front money can't buy happiness but it can buy a rocker box uh, I doubt very much you'll be able to see that because it's white printing against a very pale pink background so it's not really very filming friendly shall we say this is a beauty based box Skincare, makeup, with the occasional treat. It costs ten pounds a month plus uh, three ninety nine postage and packing, so fourteen quid a month basically. So the inside of the box is taking you on a journey of beauty discovery. Ooh. Trying to get everything balanced so it doesn't fall over is hysterical. Right, here's my little piece of paper telling me what's in here. Rocker box. Birthday box. Guess what, Rocker Babes? It's our birthday. Our fourth birthday to be exact. Yep, it's four whole years since Rocker Box launched. So this month we're celebrating by giving you a box that's been curated by the very first influencers we ever worked with. Those of you who are new to Rockerbox might not know this, but back in the day, every single Rockerbox was guest edited by a well known beauty blogger. So we've teamed back up with the very first beauty influencers to ever create boxes for us and asked them to choose a must have product each for our birthday box. M. Sheldon, LDN Diaries, and Beauty's Big Sister make up our beauty savvy trio and what a power squad they are. We were specific with our brief to them. Choose something that has worked hard to earn its place in your bathroom cabinet or makeup bag. Oh, and I couldn't resist adding in a couple of my current favourites too. So here we have it, Rocker Babes. This is what they chose for you. Enjoy. Love, dear. So, the first item in the box which is the Hero product. This is M. Sheldon's choice. This is Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara Deluxe. And it's a deluxe sample size. Uh, five grams. Marc Jacobs eye products are great for a glam eye look. This mascara delivers serious volume 
and I love the story behind it too. It's inspired by Mark Jacobs' first beauty memory of his mother delicately shaving fibres from a black velvet ribbon to add to her mascara for a faux lash effect. Ooh, that sounds like it's going to have fibres in it then. Hmm. It doesn't say. Major drama, oversized lashes, velvet light look is all it says. Um, I've got quite a few mascaras on the go at the moment. Once I'm finished with those, I'll start using some of the ones that I've got from Beauty Boxes and I'll let you know. But I'm not overly keen on ones that have fibres in because when I'm wearing my contact lens, mm, you get flaking off of that and that's really, really painful. And of course it can scratch your eye as well if it ends up getting between your contact lens and your eye. But that is the that is the Hero product. The recommended retail price for that is £13.80. The next item is this, which is from Beauty's Big Sister. And this is L'Occitane Almond Milk Concentrate. This is a travel size. RRP 12.50 Oh, and it has got a good seal on it. So good. I can't smell anything through it. But I like when they have those seals on it. I absolutely adore this gorgeous body cream. It has a soft whipped texture that melts into the skin so quickly and leaves me with the most beautiful satin like sheen. The almond scent is so addictive. I love drenching my whole body in it before I get into my PJs at night time. Okay. Fair dues. Uh, I should probably hang on to that and use that for when we ever eventually start going places again. Hmm. Next one is from the LDN Diaries. This is her choice. This is the Beauty Pro Hair Therapy Deep Conditioning Hair Mask with argan oil, jojoba seed oil and goji berry in it. And it says uh, conditioning and nourishing leaves hair silky smooth, suitable for all hair types, 15 minutes, travel with me. Oh blimey, it's like a sheet. What? If you've ever wanted the effect of a sheet mask but for your hair, then this is it. This mask is so quick and easy to use and is great for bringing my hair back to life with its conditioning oils. I can just sit back with it on and check my phone whilst it works its magic. If you look, it's saying, uh, shampoo, after shampooing hair, pat towel dry, put on hair mask, make sure all hair is covered. Use sticker to tighten and secure the head, the hair mask to the head thoroughly. Slightly massage the head to absorb the nutrients from the conditioner. Keep on for 15 minutes, remove mask and rinse hair with lukewarm water. Okay, just got the instruction pictures there. And you can see from the front, it is actually... Hmm. Uh, the RRP for that is £5.95 and obviously it's full size because it's, it's a single use product. The next item is, uh, this is one of the choices from Tia. This is the Monu Skin Professional Skin Care Illuminating Primer SPF 15. Like so many of you, I've been dabbling a lot more with skincare lately and have been on the hunt for the perfect primer. At the moment, I'm loving this. It blurs imperfections, helps my foundation to glide on smoothly and leaves me with a nourished complexion and lasting glow. Great hack. If I'm short on time and don't fancy the extra step, I simply mix some in with my foundation for a radiance and moisture boost. Soft focus technology with cassia alata, suitable for all skin types. I don't believe that for one minute. 
I have yet to find something that says it's suitable for all skin types that actually works on all parts of my face because I'm combo skin so I've got an oily t-zone my cheeks are normal but I have a couple of super dry patches that crop up so I have all type apart from sensitive I've got all skin types and I'm yet to find one that works this apparently is full size and the RRP is £36. 50ml. Okay, 50ml. Well, that's not too bad, I suppose. Nice primers are sort of 30ish mil, aren't they? Usually. Right. The next one, which is Tia's Choice, or the next two, I should say. Are these Anatomicals Mint Hand Sanitizer and Mint Hand Cream full size I just love everything about this brand it's fun it's quirky it's always got something amusing to say and yet its products genuinely deliver there's no getting away from the fact that hand sanitizer and hand creams have become two absolute handbag staples this last year so why not make sure yours smell better, look more eye-catching and feel nicer to use than 99% of the sanitizers and hand creams out there. RRP £5. I'm guessing that's for both because the little picture does actually show you it as being in a box. And the bonus product this month is a little bottle of Isoclean brush cleaner worth a pound. Love Isoclean. Bonus product, because it's our birthday and because we love you guys, we're treating you to this bonus gift. Brush cleaner is one of those things you know you should be using, but you don't often get round to buying. We won't judge. So we've saved you the trouble. Now you have no excuse not to keep these gorgeous bristles clean, germ-free and happy. Trust us, your skin will thank you. Well, actually I do wash mine very regularly. And I use a rose scented liquid soap to clean mine with. And I also have a solid soap here which I'm yet to break into because I keep this one for when I'm travelling, which obviously haven't been doing much of recently. So I do actually wash mine regularly because that's over there in a pot with my little scrubby travel sized thingy. Mm. Shush now, there's a good thing. So that was March's Rocker Box. I'm actually really quite happy with that. Um, I love the idea of a sheet hair mask that sounds like a great idea um, and I'm always up for for little mini mascaras to try because half the time I don't get through a full tube of mascara before the three months are up anyway because I tend to have two or three mascaras on the go depending on whether I want lengthening thickening curling or, you know so, um, yeah, I quite like getting little sample sized ones because I feel like they're not a waste then because you're not really, I normally either finish them up or very nearly finish them up. So that's awesome. The hand sanitizer is great. I might give that to Hubby actually. He loves the smell of mint. So I might give those to him. He can keep them in his locker at work. So we can use hand sanitizer and then hand cream. Interested to try that primer, but at the moment I've got quite a few primers on the go, so I'll hold fire on that one for the minute. And like I said, looking forward to using this as well. Actually, I might take this with me next time we stay over at Mum's, Mother-in-law's. Right, my lovelies. So that was March's Rocker Box. I really liked it. I'm happy with what we've got for the price. 
very happy indeed. I'm not quite sure how you can justify 36 quid for that, but if that's what they're charging for it and people are paying, then okay then. Right, my lovelies. That's it. Nice short one from me today. You don't get those very often, do you? No, I know. Um, do please hit the like button. Or if you didn't like it, hit the dislike, but tell me what you didn't like about it. Did you not like the fact it wasn't as long as usual? Did you not like the things that were in the rocker box? Do you not like my makeup? I don't mind. Just if you're gonna hit the down thumb, grow a pair of cojones. Tell me why. Right. Um, if you're one of my regular viewers, please double check you are still subscribed. YouTube are still deleting people, but. As usual, they're leaving the films in your feed, so it's not obvious you've been deleted. It's also worth double checking your notification status because mine keep getting set back to uh, personalised rather than all, which means I don't actually get anything come through at all. Frustrating, to say the least. Um, And, sorry, my brain completely disappeared there for a minute. It's not just me this happens to, it's happening with a lot of particularly smaller creators. So, when you're watching films of people that you enjoy, just double check you are still subscribed and that your notification status is still set to all. Um, if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my films are normally a lot longer than this, uh, but this is a pretty good indication of me and who I am. I, uh, I chanter on about everything and nothing and get distracted quickly and wander off and have whole separate conversations, forgetting what I was talking about, and then come back and go, what was I talking about? Expecting you to be able to tell me when I'm talking to a camera in my kitchen. Doesn't make me sound mad at all, does it? It'd be lovely if you'd like to join the madness of the 4F family. We are the nicest family on YouTube. It's super easy to do. You hit that subscribe button, then you ring my bell. Ring my bell. And she was on all, to all notifications in the hope that YouTube will actually send you some. In the meantime, as well as an ample backside upon which I am currently perched, I have an ample back catalogue of films that you can watch, including challenges, collabs, tutorials, reviews, all kinds of things. So basically, I've said it for years now, grab a drink, grab a snack, pick a playlist, put your feet up, get comfy and just relax for a bit. Have a bit of me time. Chill out, babe. Right, my lovelies. Let me know if you'd had this box, what would be your favourite item from what we got? Will it be the mascara, the primer, the hair mask, the hand sanitizer and hand cream? or the little, the little pot of almond body moisturiser or the brush cleaner. What would be your hero product from that box? Right, my lovelies, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous and I We'll see you next time. Bye for now.